I have been working with the American Indian population for a long time. I was astonished to see the amount of disease, dental disease, that this population is suffering from. You know, the social determinants of health that people have in their lives, like poverty, unemployment, access to care is so hard. And all those things kind of made me realize how much we need to work with this population. It gives very good statistics about what is the disparity today. Representative sample of what the burden of disease they have today. The just not provides the statistics of the burden of disease and then walks away. This paper is gonna tell you what do we need to do today to actually improve the oral health of this population. Secondly, it involves different stakeholders whether they are American Indian dentists, whether they are organizations working in the res on the reservations, or researchers like me who have worked with this population for a long time. So that way you get a lot of different perspectives. The food you eat, right? They live in food deserts, right? So there is no healthy food. If the only way they can do grocery shopping is is at a gas station, then talking to them about behavior change is not going to really impact. What we see over there is a whole system-wide approach that leads to poor oral health, low access to healthy food, low access to health care, oral health care, lack of transportation. The first and foremost thing that you want to remember is you want to develop partnerships. American and the Alaska Native communities have had a lot of distrust of people who are outsiders, right? Um, and it is true, and it is uh, with well, you know, with well historical reason why that happens. So we want to make sure that we partner with those communities. We make sure that we ask them what is the need in their community as far as oral health behavior change, oral health, access to care, all those things do not assume what they want. Talk to them, partner with them. Mm -hmm.